ladies and gentlemen, you know, this pole shift that's happening right now is really concerning the scientists. You know, the magnetic field is moving towards Siberia and it's pretty rapid. Now, I really think they're just concerned because see, no one on earth has ever lived through any of these things before, but we would have had to survive in order for you to see the people that exist on the planet today. I don't really think this is unusual. This is a living planet and the planet must go through certain cycles in order to stay alive. And I really believe this is a phenomena that has occurred on this planet as long as it's been here. You know, it just doesn't happen so often that, you know, sometimes generations will not see it, but it has certainly happened before and people did live through it. Will things change on earth? Yes, I really do believe this is going to change things on earth. And the things that don't belong here, the beings and animals and hybrids and all that stuff that don't belong here will be gone. They never should have been here in the first place. So they will be gone. And the things that belong on the earth will remain here. Plain and simple. So this came out on PBS May 26, 2019. The Earth's magnetic North Pole is shifting rapidly. So what will happen to the Northern Lights? I really believe they will be here no matter where that magnetic field is. Remember those um, Aurora Borealis always happens near the poles. So if the pole moves, it may move, but it will still happen. That's my opinion. Like most planets in our solar system, the earth has its own magnetic field. Thanks to its largely molten iron core, our planet is in fact a bit like a bar magnet. It has a north and south magnetic pole separate from the geographic poles with a field connecting the two. The field protects our planet from radiation and is responsible for creating the northern and southern lights, spectacular events that are only visible near the magnetic pole. Exactly. So if the magnetic pole moves, it's going to move closer. Those lights are going to move closer to where the pole relocates. But I don't believe that's going to disappear. However, the reports that the magnetic North Pole has started moving swiftly at 50 kilometers per year may soon be over Siberia. It has long been unclear whether the Northern Lights will move too. Now a new study published by Geophysical Research Letters has come up with an answer. And you leave it up to the sciences. Everything got to be studied and, <laughs> and everything. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, our people, our forefathers knew what this stuff was and they didn't have to do no damn study like these folks do. I guess if you got to take a high IQ test, you got to keep doing studies. Our planetary magnetic field has many advantages. For over 2,000 years, travelers have been able to use it to navigate across the globe. Some animals even seem to be able to find their way thanks to the magnetic field. But more importantly than that, our ge geomagnetic field helps protect all life on Earth. Earth's magnetic field extends hundreds of thousands of kilometers out from the center of our planet, stretching right out into interplanetary space from what scientists called a magnetosphere. This magnetosphere helps to deflect solar radiation and cosmic rays, preventing the destruction of our atmosphere. This protective magnetic bubble isn't perfect though. 
and some solar matter and energy can travel into our magnetosphere as it is then funneled into the poles by fields, it, it results in the spectacular displays of the Northern Lights, a wandering pole. Since Earth magnetic field is created by moving molten iron core, its poles aren't stationary. That's right. I don't think they've ever been stationary. I think to some degree, they've always moved and they wander independently of one another. In fact, since its first formal discovery in 1831, the North, uh, North Magnetic Pole has traveled over 2,000 kilometers from Boothia Peninsula in the far north of Canada to high end the Arctic Sea. This wandering has generally been quite slow, about nine kilometers a year, allowing scientists to easily track. Okay, so it went from nine kilometers, y'all, to 50 kilometers a year. That is a hell of an increase. That is significant. But since the turn of the century, this speed has increased to 50 kilometers a year. Wow. Now, can you imagine it may actually go up from 50? The South Magnetic Pole is also moving, though at a much slower rate, at 10 to 15 kilometers a year. So they're right. So that would be correct when they say they move the North and the South Magnetic Poles move independent of each other. So that makes sense right there. So this, as they stated, will impact your GPS or any type of navigation that you're using on a regular basis. It will have a serious impact on that. It's going to literally throw everything off as far as the magnetic mapping that's uh, been done on this earth is all going to be thrown off and they're going to have to update it find a way to update it. Will the Aurora move? I would say it is. I mean, it really works with the poles. So yes, in my opinion, it will move. Uh, generally form in an oval about the magnetic pole. And so if those poles move, it stands to reason that the Aurora might too. It will. It will. Remember, those aurora borealis, they stay near the pole. So wherever the pole moves, it's going to move. Y'all, they need to study that. <laughs> With predictions, suggestion that the North Pole will soon be approaching northern Siberia. What effect might that have on the aurora? The northern lights are currently mostly visible from Northern Europe, Canada, and the Northern US. If, however, they shift north across the geographic pole following the North Magnetic Pole, then it could well change. Instead, the Northern Lights would become more visible from Siberia and Northern Russia and less visible from the uh, much more densely populated US and Canadian border. Well, if that's the worst thing that's gonna happen, I don't think we have much to worry about. Fortunately for those Aurora hunters in the Northern hemisphere, it seems as though this might not actually be the case. A study made um, a computer model of the Aurora and Earth's magnetic pole based on data dating back to 1965. And it showed that rather than following the magnetic pole, the Aurora follows the ge geomagnetic poles instead. So there's only a small difference between these two types of poles, but it is an important one. So on this map, it is showing you the Northern 
magnetic pole right here, the geographic pole, and the northern geomagnetic pole. Okay. Okay, so it's just showing you the positions of the pole moving. Okay, so you can see how it's moving. So the position of the north dip pole is red and the geomagnetic pole is the blue right here. Okay. The geomagnetic poles are a kind of reliable average out version of the magnetic pole, which moves erratically all the time. Because of that, it turns out they aren't moving anywhere near as fast as the magnetic north pole is. And since the aurora seems to follow the more average version of the magnetic field, it means that the northern lights aren't moving that fast either. It seems as though the aurora are staying where they are, at least for now. So ladies and gentlemen, these folks are really overly worried about what's gonna happen on this earth once the pole finally reaches Siberia. And it's gonna reach there faster than anybody expected, especially moving at uh, 50 kilometers a year. And it could possibly jet faster than that. Okay, so we already know that the magnetic pole moves. Both poles have wandered ever since the earth existed. In fact, the poles even flipped over with north becoming south and south becoming north. These magnetic reversals have occurred throughout history every 450,000 years or so on average, and we are at that point. The last reversal occurred 780,000 years ago, meaning we could be due a reversal soon. So rest assured that a wandering pole, even a fast one, shouldn't cause too many problems except for those scientists whose job it is to model it. So ladies and gentlemen, as far as I'm concerned, my Hebrew brothers and sisters, you don't have nothing to worry about. It's everybody else on this planet that got to worry. That's the way I see it. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video. And ladies and gentlemen, this is another sign of the Most High getting this earth back in order the way it should have been all along. Peace, family.